What is going on YouTube? It's your boy T News coming back at you with another video, man. And we we bring in today is Charleston White versus Anton Daniels. And man, it, it's just been crazy about what's been going on between them two. But I mean, you know, that's one thing about Charleston White. He he breaks, you know, not breaks, but he pretty much ends up messing up friendships with a lot of other people. Like, after he collaborates with him and stuff like that. I don't know why he always does that, but uh, I don't know. But, I mean, he, he's funny sometimes, but, you know, it, it, it it's just acquired taste, I guess. But I, I listen to what he say. Sometimes he makes good points. Sometimes he doesn't. But let's see what's going on in this video. Of the celebrity junk. Right now, a lot of people are talking about issue between Charleston White Anton Daniels. Now again, I don't know Charleston White. I've never spoken to him and would not speak to him for whatever reason. Um, but I do uh, know Anton. I've talked to him uh, many times off 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 camera, things like that. Uh, you know, like I said, we have different strategy for how we do things. But um, you know, I've seen him come up in the business. You know, I've seen him take it very seriously, and uh, he's doing very well, right? I, despite how you know people may feel about him or me. Right, he's doing fairly well. And Anton Daniels, um, unlike many content creators on the platform, he's willing to spend money to grow. This is not what most black creators do. You know, he'll put uh, himself out there to bring the interviews that everybody would like to see. He's collaborated with a lot of big names, Brittany Renner. Uh, mo most black creators will make money on YouTube and will not spend any money back into the business. So that's one thing I'll give him. And one of the things that we started to notice about Anton is that he would spend the money to bring Charleston White to Detroit. Now the Anton Daniels, Charleston White collaborations were, were classic, they were huge, right? But I really want to focus on the fact that Charleston White basically decided that he would no longer uh, do business with Anton Daniels and he basically explained why they fell out. Now, man, let me break. See, and, and that's one thing that I was talking about how Charleston White Cause if you if you look at anybody that pretty much that Charleston has like done business with, and like they pay for him to come out, a lot of times he end up talking shit to all about all everybody that he pretty much has collabs with. Him and him and um Anton, they 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 had a, a nice little uh a nice little run though. I think it's he he brought Charleston out like a few times, and stuff like that and at first you know it seemed like you know they they haven't had no problems but pretty much if you know charleston you know that he was gonna he was gonna come out with something because it, it he he can't get along with nobody pretty much you down to antoine antoine daniels thing man uh i have been noticing uh whoever was doing antoine's uh Whoever editing, uploading his content at the time, he had two channels, right? So I would tell them, I will, I will go do content with him, and then when they drop it, I will call it, say, homie, man, whoever your editor is, they must not like me. Oh, why you say that? See, I'm like, homie, look what they, look how they putting the title. Why they trying? Why y'all trying to paint me in this image? So that was you know, six months into the, you know, the business partnership. So at least on three or four different occasions, I would have to call the homie and say, say, homie, man, your editor can't like me. Why are they trying to, if y'all like me, why are you trying to paint me in this? And why y'all keep the celebrity shit, homie? You got shit of me, Pops. You got the director of Paul Mitchell Barber College, Kendrick Lamar, former barber. Homie, why wouldn't you put that? So you keep putting all the celebrity, Boosie, Tony the Closer. Uh, you started f***ing with Tony the Closer because you saw it was getting you views. Don't try to make it like you needed security for me. You started messing with Tony the Closer, talking about Big Bang, Take Little Bang. So you did that on your own because I don't ever need nobody to help defend me. But I had an issue with whoever was uploading your content 
in what they was putting in the titles rather than the things that I was saying. So my issue with come on home and we can't be friends or you can't think of me if this is how you're trying to paint me and present me in this way. Why not just put Charleston says this? So that was my issue with him. And so I kept having the issue saying, homie, your editor. So he said, well, see what you mean, homie? Just say what I said. Don't, don't try to put words in my mouth. So I noticed he was starting to use me as, as clickbait. And, and, and what I started noticing was he got off to me having beef with celebrities. So you notice he don't put real current content up anymore. He don't come back and put real. So I noticed he got off to Jay Prince, Lil Boo. So every time I got into it with a celebrity, that was his thing, which is cool. Okay, homie, we'll capitalize off. But when Live Nation give me the tour, right, Live Nation are already tripping with me. Things I'm saying, they want me to quit smoking weed on camera. So Live Nation already tripping with me. As my partner, he come back with some old J. Prince beef. So I'm saying, man, homie, I got to go to Houston. Live Nation already tripping with me. The city of Houston already tripping with me. Houston Police Department already tripping with me. And we had problems at the Houston show. So homie, why would those? So I'm saying, homie, so we we grew moved past it. This last year's beef. We got other things that we can repost and put up. Why you keep bringing the beef? The only thing you keep reposting is the beef, Anton. So that was my problem. Why you keep reposting beef? Out of all the most positive, prolific things and I've said on your platform, you keep reposting the beef, fam. So that was my problem. So I asked him, I said, listen, homie, I'm Live Nation already tripping with me. I got a show coming up in Houston. So you go repost this, so you go reignite this fire. They didn't let me bring no weapons into the show, no mates. So I'm saying, come on, homie, you go, come on, homie. I thought we were growing, Antoine. I thought we evolved and passed because you keep bringing up last year's beef. So uh, when I called him about it, uh, he said, oh, see, I thought you stand on it. How long I got to keep standing on it, homie? Can we grow past it? We got other things that we can talk about. He said, I, I said, homie, but I told you somebody in your department must not like me. Notice he's not putting up reincurring stuff. So I'm still thinking we cool. I'm still thinking we partners. So I'm calling him. And matter of fact, we booked for a comedy show. We were booked for a comedy show in Detroit that he was in on. That right there, see, that's the, that's, what was going on with with Charles and see he went out there and when you go to you know one of these YouTubers you know to collaborate and stuff like that and they pay you like once you know they pay you and stuff like that all of that content is their content because they paid you for your content and whatever you say and stuff like that all of that is is theirs now because they paid you for a service. You you said what you said, and everything that went on within that time, and they recorded. That's their content. So, a lot of times, these content creators, like especially if you say some salacious, they are going to keep posting that stuff and putting that stuff out there so they can pretty much make their money back from what they paid you, and hopefully get like a return from it because these people aren't gonna just be paying you ten fifteen thousand dollars and then you can turn around and tell them what to do with their content that they paid you for i mean that's why a lot of times these people they will tell you to be careful of certain things what you say but charleston once he gets gets going he don't care like he'll say anything and like that's why i said like he'll he'll say certain stuff to go viral and stuff like that but then he'll say it, but then he don't want people to keep bringing up the stuff that he said to go viral. But he he know what he's doing. Dawson think that if these people pay him this money, that he still has control over the videos of what these people are putting out. And it's that's not how it works. And they're going to keep putting this stuff out so they can keep making money. Um... I don't have nothing bad to say about anybody that I done broke bread with in real life. I just don't. Don't matter what the f 
do. It don't matter what's happening out in the streets. I just don't have anything bad to say about people like that. Um, because there is nothing bad to say about it. And I will say that it's not just because he was the homie or we broke bread together because I just don't have anything bad to say about nobody. I don't move like that. Um, Dewberry did admit, I will give him a lot of credit that I do good business. I do good business. I take care of people. I make sure that people is in a good space and all of that stuff, right? But I will add a little bit of context as far as the money and then a couple little details that people are bringing up. So a lot of people like to say stuff like, well, Anton, if it ain't about the money and this and that, let me tell you something, bro. On the real, on some real type shit, and I ain't never spoke on this, ever. I done took strikes on my channel just because I wanted to release it and Charleston was adamant that we release certain content in order to be able to get across certain points. I done took strikes on my channel that I've worked my entire life to build up. I've took strikes on my channel. I've had, there's a lot of interviews, especially during that time, because that was a time where YouTube was really, really censoring everything, especially around the Kanye West stuff and, and stuff like that. And I've showed y'all, I've had times where entire interviews, all of the clips was yellow, meaning that we made zero money. I made zero money off of that content, but I still released it because it was good for the culture or me and Charleston agreed that it was important that we, we release this type of content regardless of what was going on, but I took the L's as a result of it. That's just a fact. That's the facts. There's interviews where I've spent well over $10,000 in total costs, whether it was paying them, hotel rooms, flights, everything, right? I paid a lot of money out and then I got zero return. Now, that doesn't mean that I didn't make money off of other stuff that we did. We absolutely got a bag. And I'm just gonna be 100% transparent. We absolutely got bags, but I've made a lot of sacrifices. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you another thing that people are not familiar with. Me and Tony the Closer had got into it. Me and Tony the Closer had got into it because the one thing about me and Charleston's interview style is that I don't have pre-planned questions. Whatever is happening in popular culture, whatever is happening in the streets, Whatever is happening as far as what it is that he said or a live that he might went, went live on Instagram about, we usually just talk about it or we just talk about it in relation to whatever is happening that's popular at the time. That's how the whole Kanye situation got up or whatever like that. And then they will, they will tell you the one thing that I always do with every single person that I interview, especially with Charleston, is the first thing that I say is, hey, fam, you sure that you want to keep that in there? You sure you standing on that? And that's where the whole stand on it is. After the interview, I asked the same thing. Hey fam, you sure that's what you want to do? Like, you don't think that we should edit that part out or you don't think we should cut out? The nah, man, drop that shit. I stand on it. Drop that shit. I stand on it. I said, okay. All right, well, cool. I mean, if that's what you want to do, you your own man, you your own brand, you know what you want to do. I'm going to drop it authentically. So one of the things that he did was, you know what I'm saying? He went into a whole situation about what happened or the fallout with him and Tony the closer. I drop it. Tony is now coming at me because Tony is really heavy about his name, apparently, or whatever. And so now me and Tony is having a back and forth. And I'm like, that I'm a, I'm a defend my guy. I'm a defend Charleston. And so I'm gonna stand on that shit with him because this is my guy. I go to his crib when I'm down in Dallas. Um, I break bread. I didn't kick it with his brother and his mother, whatever. And so me and Tony going back and forth over some shit that I don't even have no involvement in as far as my real experience of going back and forth with Tony. Now, Tony is pissed and I'm standing on it with my guy, but I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Like we can, we can do this. Like we can money fight and all of that. Tony, like, yeah, I heard you in Miami pull up and all of that shit. So I'm in different cities with my family and shit. I got to hire people that rock with me or, or extra security and shit like that just because I'm standing on business when it comes to my guy. So let me just say this. Basically, as it appears. See, that, see that's what I was talking about. Like, especially when the when those videos was coming out, YouTube was, was like real deep on like censoring people. Like, they, they don't lay it off a little bit, but if you, like, with certain people, they will uh they will 
send you uh the the what is it yellow check mark the the yellow money sign on your channel and then if they got that on that you're not making no money and especially like with charleston white i think they were censoring him like real tough back then and anything that had him and like i think tate or something like that they would hurry up and put um the the yellow marker on there and i i can't remember who else they was coming after real hard but anything with any of uh, certain people controversial people they would go on and put the yellow mark on there but he would anton was bringing out a lot of those charles and white videos and stuff like that and if he was getting yellow marks and all on he pretty much wasn't making no money it's on youtube from it. he probably he probably was making money on facebook and probably TikTok and all that other stuff but youtube if, if you got that yellow mark you you wasn't making um as much money and plus they were censoring that video too because anytime you have that on your video you're not gonna get no as, as many views as you usually would if it was like a normal video but I don't know, man. Since Anton said what he said, I think Charleston needs to just go on, make his own channel, and, like, bring out his own stuff. Except I don't know if he can make his own channel because if he makes his own channel, YouTube is probably not going to monetize him. So the only thing I, could I, I think he could probably do is just keep on making these appearances, keep, you know, saying all this crazy stuff, and just, you know, just – make it off of whatever money that he gets from that because I, I don't think he can actually make a channel on YouTube because they probably not going to monetize him. But what do you think in the, in, um, the comment section? Leave it down in the comment section. Uh, I actually sourced this video from, I think I got it from um, O'Shea Duke Jackson video. I'm going to leave it down in the comment section. Go on and watch the rest of the video. See what he said. It's your boy T News and I'm out. Peace.